today I'm here with a new video and today it is time for the third video with the Flaming Love palette from Makeup Addiction. This is my palette of the month and I've done two looks with it, of course, because this is the third. Uh, so it looks like this and so far I have only used two shades in all of the looks. So I've done a look with these two, one with these two. So I have these two and these left. And I was like thinking, should I do four looks with two in each look? And then I was like, no. <laughs> so I don't think I will do that. I am pretty sure what I want to do today. I think I only want to use two colors or maybe... Or maybe the four I have left because I don't know if I'm going to do a fourth video this month with this palette because it has it hasn't fit my schedule. So maybe it's just going to be free. So I will just zoom me in and then we get started with the look. So I will start and I will start with this one, Savannah Desert. Yes, and I will take this in my crease, and I'm testing out a new brush today. Maybe that's not a good idea, but hey, how bad can it be? So I will take this in my crease. Maybe I should have swatched it first. But do I do things like that? No, I do not. And okay, maybe I shouldn't have taken like this small brush for this now. I'm taking a larger blending brush and I need to pluck my eyebrows to see right now hope you heap I hope you can't see this mess I think you can't okay so I just want to have this I think pretty high up and pretty much because I think I want to deepen this down a little bit, but maybe not. I like that this is really <laughs> blendable, you know, sometimes when you put a shade in your crease and it's just like, shit, I got too much. But I think this is like, I can work it out. Okay, and then I actually want to go in with this really dark one that is called Brownie. And take it on my outer V or on the outside of my eye. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit afraid about how dark this is going to be. It's kind of dark, but... Pretty unique. Like, I don't know if it's brown... With like a little gray in it, maybe? I don't know. It looks really cool. I really like this shade. It feels really... Is this kind of unique, actually? Or it's maybe just me that is not like used to wear that much brown shades anymore. But it feels like it's... I have kind of like gray in it or something. I don't know. I like it. So I will go in with the blue one that I think is called Belize. This one and take it here because I think it would look really cool. And I need to use a clean the brush. And I am not going in with any glitter glue or anything because I feel that this can really pop without it because the other shades could. And look at this. That looks kind of good. Not just kind of, it looks really good. So we will see how it sticks to the eye. This is such an amazing shade. I haven't used it much, maybe one or two times, but it's like, whew, it's really like, it's such a cool shade and 
makeup addiction they are really really good with shimmers I have only tried this palette but this in this palette they are like amazing these shimmers I'm going to smudge it out a little bit yes 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 I am just going in with or I take the brush that I had with the dark shade and take a little bit of extra color to it and try to blend them together and then I go in again with the brush that I had the blue take it over a little bit maybe a little bit more This is what I wanted the Pisces shade in the Colourpop Zodiac palette to be. It's not. Okay, so I think I actually I'm happy like this. I love this Belize. So I will take away the fallouts. Do I have a lot? No, not a lot, but I have some. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then I come back. And I think I want to go in with this one in my inner corner and maybe like smoke it out a little bit on my lower lash and then maybe take this one on my lower lash or maybe this but I think this one will be best to have on my lower lash so yeah I will fix my base and then I come back so okay for my under eyes I will start with why can't I like remember a single name? Savannah Desert, this one that I had on my crease. And I will take this on my lower lash. And I also want to take this uh, whisper this one and have it in here so I don't think I would go much further with this so now we're going with this whisper and I will actually spray it I think it would be okay without spraying but I don't have anything to I have set my under eye concealer so Maybe this was a bit like lighter than I expected it to be. Okay, I think I will have it like this. So I will put on mascara, something in my wash line, and I think I will take something blue. And then try to choose a lip. Bit. I have no idea what to take on my lips, but... I will try, I, I should have something that goes with this, so I will fix that and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Zulu from Colourpop and on my lips I used lipstick from Colourpop that is Gold Digger and I like this look. I love the Belize shade of this one. Amazing and I also really like this one. It was a really cool and unique like kind of brown I don't really know how to describe it I think it looks pretty cool and I really like this look um <laughs> maybe not something that I usually do about it maybe I should do more like blues or yeah I really like it and I think this is the last video with this palette for this month. It has been so so fun to play with this. I'm so so happy that I finally bought it and I really 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 like it. I don't know if this is available anymore. I have no idea but if you can get your hands on this, do it. And I think that Makeup Addiction should have the same formula on their other palettes. At least they have some palettes that looks like this and 
if they're still available, which I, I don't know, I have like no... I don't know like anything about makeup addiction. I follow them on Instagram, but nothing more than that. But this palette is such a good palette. So if you have this palette at home and haven't used it, take it and use it. You will not regret it. It is it is amazing. The shimmers are so, so good. They are blendable and yeah, you, you see this and it's amazing. The only thing that I maybe... It feels like, as I have done in these videos that like I want to match a shimmer and a matte and it doesn't feel that I have too many options but it's absolutely doable and the mattes are so good to blend out and one thing with this palette that I'm not it's not like that common with the palettes I use that are more colorful but they have like no kick up at all like nothing I maybe can show you if I take a brush if we take like a matte if we take this that I had you see it's like nothing and that is amazing and also if we take I just have to find the right brushes if we take a look on the blue I don't know why I do this this if this palette not available why I do like this you see like nothing and the brush is like covered in blue so much so that is really really good and it minimize the fallouts I had some fallouts but I could easily done without fallouts so I am so happy and I am so angry at myself that I have had this palette for quite a long time and have like never used it. So I'm so happy about this. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope you liked that I picked this palette. For next month it is March as you should know and I... It's between two palettes. I think I know which palette I want to take and it is going to be a palette that starts with an M. So I'm still keeping in this theme. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!